So spice is a type of herbal uh, product that was popularized in Europe in the uh, late 90s or early 2000s. Essentially, uh, because marijuana or cannabis is so interesting from a pharmacological standpoint, all of these laboratories started developing compounds that could mimic the effects of the naturally occurring compounds in cannabis or marijuana. And essentially, uh, they need to get stronger and stronger potency ones to bind to the receptors in stronger and stronger fashion to do, to do tests and studies in a more accelerated fashion, as is done in research laboratories. So one laboratory, uh, John John Huffman, uh, American scientist, he, his, uh, his group was experimenting with different compounds, diff completely different structures to the naturally occurring compounds in cannabis, but they all ended up having activity at this one receptor in the human body. So to make a long story short, that molecule somehow leaked out of the laboratories, that compound, and people started putting that super strong compound into uh, herbal blends. In, in, in Europe, it was where it first appeared. Sometimes goes by the name Spice or K2, and um, it's, it's maybe about five to, in some cases, 100 times more potent uh, at, the, at the cannabinoid receptor than, than tetrahydrocannabinol or THC, which is one of the naturally occurring uh, strong um, uh, compounds in marijuana. Now, um, People uh, purchase this and, and use it uh, to, to, to get some experience of an alteration of consciousness, which is a normal behavior in humans to want to change their, change their mind state. But these compounds are very new. They're, they're synthetic, they're designer, they haven't been tested very much on humans. There's lots of reports of psychotic reactions because it's extremely potent. It turns out naturally occurring cannabis, is those, those cannabinoids uh, like THC aren't that strongly binding to the receptor. They're actually called partial agonists. And these are full agonists and they can have very strong effects. So uh, it is a fake marijuana in the sense that it's not really cannabis or marijuana that we're talking about. It's a synthetic, super synthetic uh, cannabinoids that have been sprayed onto herbal blends that people smoke. And it, the United States government has uh, made these extremely popular by banning them, which uh, they recently, the DEA emergency scheduled them into their most uh, restrictive class uh, in, the Amer in the federal drug laws. And of course, when you do something like that, you make it very, very, um, interesting as a forbidden fruit. So the gentleman who invented uh, this first compound, John Huffman, um, said that, you know, if you want, if people want to, you know, change their consciousness, they should stick to marijuana.